Hey, it's Future Danny, and I'm editing, and this video is extremely messy, and I don't blame you if you don't want to watch it, I just made it because I felt like I had to for myself. Um, also, the lighting is terrible because I'm using my light because it's dark out, because winter in Scotland. Yeah. But yeah, this is just a heads up that, um, don't expect a whole lot of it's a whole lot of rambles, like this is. Okay. Hello, I have my pyjamas on and my tea and I'm in my reading chair. And I just tried filming this video two minutes ago and it went horrifically. So I'm hoping I can do this in no more than two takes. Right, this is going to be very disjointed because my thoughts are all over the place. I am all over the place. This video is a chat about me, about my channel, about everything really, I suppose. A deep breath. <sighs> Tea. <sighs> okay. I feel weird. I am in a slump. I am in a reading slump, a life slump, which I guess also links to it being a YouTube slump. I made this channel because I've always loved YouTube, I've always enjoyed making content and I love editing and it's just something that I have a huge passion for and I wanted to push myself to do it more. The problem being I never knew what I wanted to do with this channel. I was introduced to booktube and I thought that's it, that's what I want to do. I love reading, it's my escape from everything, I'm gonna make a booktube. I made a booktube and I still haven't uploaded a book related video. Um, part of that I feel is because I don't feel qualified enough, I don't think that's really the correct word in this case but it's the best I've got right now because my brain is just mush. I feel like I watch all of these book related videos and everyone is so eloquent and knowledgeable and amazing and I just feel like my opinion is just like she doesn't really know what she's talking about she's just talking about the book she liked or didn't like and I think that's a big fear of mine on this channel is the fear of my opinion being invalid which at the end of the day I know it's not but that's what my brain does <sighs> so this is me saying that if you are subscribed and you are here for solely book videos, you do not need to stay. I, I'm not certain what I'm doing with this channel. Obviously there will be book videos coming because that is what I love. I'm just not sure where to start with that, but there will also be chats like this. And I don't know, I play a lot of games. I might wanna do a let's play, even though it will be even more rambly than this. I don't know, that's just it. That's that's my main thing at the minute. I don't know with mostly anything. 2016 has been a crazy year, I think, for pretty much everyone. Uh, politics, celebrity deaths, and personal things. I This year I've come across so many people who have been through so much with their mental health, like I have, and I've made so many great friends through the most random situations, mostly internet. And I am so grateful that these people have come into my life because not only are they wonderful people, but it's helped me realize that, hey, everyone is dealing with this. It's not just you. And I know that is the most obvious thing, and I knew that anyway, but seeing it firsthand and talking to these people has just made it so much easier for me to take a step back and be like, right, okay. Nobody's life is as simple as they'd like it to be. You've got this. They're doing it, you can do it. I am going to Brighton in December to spend Christmas with my best friend, Ruby, and her brother. None of us like Christmas, so I'm looking forward to that. So I want to hopefully maybe make like a mini travel vlog type thing. We're wanting to go to independent bookshops there because they are my weakness and my favourite place in the world is an independent bookshop so I want to film some of that hopefully. 
Book wise, like I said, I'm in a reading slump. I finished Illuminate and I really loved it and I started reading The Hobbit and I cannot get into it. And it's so frustrating because not only do I hate leaving a book unfinished, but I love the movies and I've wanted to read the book for a very long time, but I'm struggling. So I think I need to put that down for now and start something else and keep reading. <sighs> Back to 2016. Like I said, very disjointed, all over the place video. Um, yes, it has been an utterly shit year, but for me it's ending quite well, for the most part. Uh, these friends that I've made have been in recent months, and I'm going seeing friends in December, and I'm pushing myself more, and I'm doing more, and I'm doing more that I can be proud of, and I'm dealing with uh, my mental health better, my anxiety and my depression. I've been having bad patches but everybody does so that's okay. I am okay. This year I learned about depersonalization and dissociation which is basically me in a nutshell. I never knew what it was. I used to say to you know, the close people around me, I would say, hey, I get dizzy, but it's like I'm not dizzy, it's like I'm in a dream, but it's entirely terrifying. And then on the wonderful internet, I saw an article or a post somebody had written about depersonalization, and I cried for a very long time, but it was a happy cry because it was this is it, this is what you're dealing with, it's an explanation, you're not just insane. Basically, I'm, I'm terrible at definitions and explaining things, but it's where you are totally and utterly spaced out for most people and you feel like you can't bring yourself back down to earth. Um, for me, I mean, it's happening now because I'm thinking about it, but I'm fine because I'm, I'm in my flat and I know I'm safe and, you know, I'm comfortable. Um, but it happens a lot when I go out, out. Um, if I'm in Glasgow with friends, open spaces kind of is a big trigger of it for me. And if I'm in the cinema, I've, I've recently walked out of a movie and had a very brief anxiety attack because it just hits you, you're focusing on the movie and then it hits you and it's like all these people and this massive open space and I feel like I'm not here and it sounds like a small thing but it is so scary and myself and a few other people I know have to deal with it on a daily basis and you just kind of have to put up with it and I guess I'm dealing with it better now like I said I'm pushing myself I just say to myself yes you feel like you're going to die but no you are not going to nothing bad has ever actually happened from you depersonalizing I've said before I've always loved YouTube but this year YouTube has gotten me through so much I think it started mainly with Markiplier I found him in I started watching him in 2015 but this year he has gotten me through a hell of a lot and the Game Grumps as well and it's thanks to the Game Grumps that I know a lot of the wonderful people that I know now that I was talking about earlier in this video and notably Dodie Clark and John Cozart. Dodie, she deals with anxiety and depersonalization and she openly talks about these things. She's been a good push for me to do the same and also to help me cope with these things. And on top of that, she makes absolutely beautiful music and she is just incredible. Hashtag not spawn. I don't know where else I'm going with this video there has been no structure to this at all. I just wanted to vent, I suppose, and let you guys know that I have no clue what I'm doing, but I really appreciate that you're here. Um, it means a lot to me. And I guess I will end this with saying, look after yourself.
this year has been a roller coaster for everyone. Things will get better. It's so cliche but so true. I found a really good community on Facebook. Really supportive, wonderful people. And I'm just so lucky and thankful that I found it when I did. Because maybe I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for that community. I think the internet, we all know it has so much power and it's scary and can be dangerous, but the amount of help it's given people, including me personally, is just overwhelming. And I'm so thankful for YouTube and for Facebook groups and Tumblr sometimes, even though that can be more <laughs> stress than it's worth. Um, and I'm thankful for you guys. This is turning into a belated Thanksgiving video now. But yeah, basically just thank you and look after yourself and don't be afraid to talk. You can vent about whatever's troubling you in the comments and I will do my best to respond. The best thing to do is try to find your community. I have several, I have booktube and then I have all my gamers and I have my musicians on YouTube and they're all wonderful communities. Find your community, don't be afraid to look for a related group on Facebook and reach out and make friends because as horrible as people can be, they can be even more wonderful. And it took me a lot of time to realise that, but I know it now. And whew! Okay, and that's it. I'm going to try to make another video before I go to Brighton for Christmas. But if not, I guess I will see you next time in my bookshop vlog thing. I'm sorry this is such a mess, but I appreciate you guys a lot. Bye! <laughs>